Hello and welcome back to another Be Hooked Crochet video. This is going to be a part of my product review series and today I'm going to be discussing and reviewing the Clover Amour hooks. And these are absolutely fabulous. So if you are looking to invest in a luxury hook set, definitely keep this one high on your list because I promise you're going to love these hooks. The Clover Amour hooks have been manufactured in Japan and they are made up of an elastomer handle, which is just a fancy way of saying a rubber or an elastic polymer, and the hooks themselves are made of aluminum. So the combination of the elastomer handle and the aluminum hook is what makes this hook overall really light and easy to crochet with. Now you'll notice if you look on the bottom, Clover has included the American standard size and also the metric size. So no matter what you're used to picking your hook up with, whether it be you know, looking at the letter or the number, you should be covered. That's one of the things I like about these hooks. Some patterns are given to you with the number size and some are given to you with the metric size. And so this way, you're good to go either way. Now one of the things that I mentioned before is that this is, is an aluminum hook and I also mentioned that it's really light and so the combination of the two it, for me it means much faster and much smoother crocheting. I know there have been some other individuals who have tried these hooks and who have said the same thing that they just couldn't believe how much faster they were able to crochet because of the the lightness of the hook and just the overall usability of it. One thing that I noticed in transitioning, I was using a boy crochet hook set last and they're just a steel hook and it's pretty much comparable to anything that you could pick up off of your shelf like Susan Bates or anything like that. And one of the things that I noticed is the shape of the hook itself. Now this is called a tapered hook or a tapered neck on this crochet hook and you can kind of see you know where that name comes about. You know, it's kind of tapered in. Uh, the The contrast to this would be the inline hooks, which basically this section right here is completely flat. So that's a review for a different day, but as far as this goes, just know that it's tapered. I find that it's it's perfect for my crocheting style. I, I tend to like the tapered hook much better. And one of the things that I noticed when I was starting to crochet with these hooks was that I felt the hook itself right here was a little bit shallower and it's not a bad thing it took me a little bit of time to get used to but actually I picked up a single hook before I bought this gift set to try it out and I was crocheting a tree skirt so this was around Christmas last year and it was an incredibly big project so I would say probably I don't know 10 or so rounds through the tree skirt I was used to the size of the hook and the reason why I say I, I feel like it might be shallower was because I would sort of drop my yarn overs at first um, the way that I yarn over is typically just to take my hook and just twist it around and kind of catch the yarn that way and I noticed that it would kind of plop off every now and then but like I said after about 10 rounds or so I was able to work through that and I like the usability of this so much more than any other hook that I have ever tried. On a, a more personal level, you know, putting the product review aside, I would highly, highly recommend these hooks. I've used these now for, like I said, it's probably been about five months or so. And honestly, I don't see myself ever picking up another hook. And I used to be the type of person that I wanted to try every hook on the market. I wanted to see what they felt like, see the difference between the inline and the tapered heads and the ones that have the handles on them and the ones that don't. And after I bought this set, I see no reason whatsoever to ever use another hook again. I find that I have crocheted faster and more efficiently. And overall, I just think they're absolutely great. So out of the box, with these Clover Amour hooks, you're going to notice a couple of different things about the texture. Now this is questions that some people have because even in the store you can't, you can't feel what they, you know, you can't tell what they're going to feel like because they're within the packaging. So 
when you hold on to this handle, like I said before, it's an elastic polymer, so it's a rubber, and it has a little bit of friction to it. When you feel it, it's gonna feel pretty grippy. Your fingers aren't gonna slide through it. It's definitely not gonna slide out of your hand. And that's one of the things that I like about it. That's typically one of the things that sets this particular hook apart from some of the others on the market. Another thing that you're gonna notice is the texture of the hook itself. And when you feel it with your finger, it feels really smooth, you know, like you would expect out of a hook but I feel like there is a tad bit of a resistance, like almost a matte kind of texture to it, and I really, really like that when I'm crocheting with it. One of the problems that I had with my steel hooks was that the hook was so slippery that when I would yarn over to go into the stitch, it would just fall right off my hook. And so if you've seen some of my older video tutorials where I'm using these hooks, you'll notice I use the index finger of my crocheting hand to hold on to the loops that are on my hook because when I would maneuver the hook down to go into a stitch it would fall off and that was the biggest thing that I noticed with this hook is that I don't have to do that because the yarn just stays on my hook and in doing that it has created me to be a much faster crocheter. Another thing that I really like about these hooks and really just hooks with grips in general not particular these, is that the yarn doesn't move past the grip. Now if you're brand new or if you invested in you know, a cheaper hook set, then it probably doesn't have a handle and the yarn can just slide all the way through the hook. And that's a problem that I had. If I would put it down, you know, my hook would slide out and whatnot. And, and with these, it doesn't actually do that. You've got the little stopper there and I kind of use that almost as a security guard now. I'll actually put my hook in and I know that it's, I've got a little bit of, you know, something stable. It, for me, it just, it helps me crochet a little bit better and a little bit faster. And I feel like you'll probably experience the same thing. Now, some people don't like the finish of this hook, I'll be honest. You know, some people don't like the friction that it has. And for me, I'm kind of like an in-between person. A steel hook, like I said, is really slippery. And if you go to the other extreme, to a plastic hook, there's so much friction with that. I have a really, really hard time crocheting with plastic hooks. And this one is somewhere in between. And I think that's, I kind of found the sweet spot for me. You know, for me, this is the, just overall, the perfect hook. So you may be wondering now where you can get a hold of some of these hooks. And as I said, I purchased a single hook first before I made the big investment. And if you're questioning these hooks, I would highly recommend that. If you were to purchase a single hook from Clover's website, the retail price is $7.95. And if you were to go to your local store, the the price is going to be pretty much the same. I the only store that has these hooks available in my area is Joann's and I believe they sell these hooks for you know I want to say $7.99 or $6.99 I can't remember off the top of my head but either or you can use the coupon save you a little bit of money and try it out that way you don't have a huge investment and if you love it you can purchase a set which is exactly what I did now there are two sets available on the market you can get them at Clover's website you can also get them on Amazon, which is where I purchased mine. And like I said, there's two different sets. This set is just the hooks themselves. It comes with the 10 hooks that you see here. And just so you get an idea, these are sizes B through J, which is 2.25 millimeters all the way up to 6 millimeters. This set if you purchase off of Clover's website, it retails for $73.50. And I believe, you know, the price fluctuates so much on Amazon, but I believe I paid just over $50 for this set. And the other set option that's available is the same hooks that you see here. You get all 10 sizes B through J, but the only difference is you get a little a gift pouch thing. You know, it's a, it's a nice little zippered case, and it, I think it's pink and colorful and, you know, bright, just just like the hooks that you see here. And if you purchase that gift set off of Am or off of Clover's website, you'll pay $90.50. And, 
And if you purchase that one on Amazon, I believe that one's available for around 70 to 75. So again, you can save a little bit of money that way. And these are US dollars, by the way, I'm located in the United States. So if you're watching this review because you're ready to jump into that first big investment when it comes to a nice crochet hook, if you're wanting a luxury hook set, then I personally would highly recommend the Clover Amore hook. I absolutely love it. I've said that probably three or four times in this video, and I just can't emphasize that enough. This hook has made a huge difference in my crocheting style and my efficiency, and I just love it. And I know there are so many people out there who feel the same way as I do and who this has really helped. And if you're watching this video and you already have a Clover Amour hook or if you have any experiences with it whatsoever, whether it be a good experience or a bad experience, I encourage you to please leave those comments in the description below because I feel like that will really help other people. You know, I just have one opinion and I think that when you're making an investment like this, it's good to look at reviews from different angles and from different people. So please leave your comments and your experience. And if, like I said, if you are looking to invest in a, a nice luxury hook, I would recommend you pick up a single hook just at your local Joann's or whatever store you might have available. And, and give it a try. It is definitely worth it and I don't think you'll be disappointed. And so on behalf of Be Hooked Crochet, this has been a product review for the Clover Amore Hook. And until next time, we'll see you soon.